Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartson Family Farms. I'm in a hurry, I'm up at the farm. It is a gorgeous Monday morning, 75 degrees out for a high today. We need to get moving. So I need to get the side-by-side -side stuff done today. So I'm up here around just before lunch. I'm gonna try to get everything down south done before lunch. So I gotta get moving. We, right here's where Pat got stuck last year. Little side slope that's pretty wet with the spring and he's just spraying along and slid down, went into the boom, went, his boom went into the tree or the fence there. Not good. Well, there's a couple springs here that are just pretty wet. That waterway's wet and that waterway's wet. Huh, weird. Sorry for the breeze, but the first anhydrous I see going in the county this spring. Yeehaw, hopefully that's us tomorrow. Hopefully. Probably not though. Just entering the town of Charlotte that got smacked with a tornado a week and a half ago. Quite a bit of contractors doing roofing. I'm sure I'll see quite a bit of trees down. Yeah, there's a big tree that fell. Up here at Curtis's field now. Time to get all roughed up in the chisel. This is gonna be fun. Very, very fun. Up here at Curtis's field now. Time to get all roughed up in the chisel. This is gonna be fun. Very, very fun. So you can kind of see we have hay over there. He's gonna take that hay out this year, so I gotta remark all that. Hi, Grandma, it's Ron. Sorry I missed your call. Uh-oh. Saw this and had to do a U-turn. I'll do some damage on whatever. Looks like it already hit something. We'll keep rolling. Well, somehow I buried the side by side in the driest day of the year. Partially because there's, these, uh, there's stumps in here I didn't realize, so that's cool. But I got one hooked in the frame. So I literally had no choice. I was just spinning around because it's hooked in there. My only bet is to use this fence post I found. Thank you, Lord, I found that. And pry myself out. <sighs> we'll see if it'll actually happen. By fun, I mean, absolutely not. I'm glad I got out of that. Whew. Okay, now let's keep going. That was a half hour delay. Curtis going up to get the spring equipment. We use it, we move that stuff with the seven because it's a narrow nose and easy. Gassing because I was just about out, but I made it back. To uh, 145 or so ish, so the guy's are already done eating. So grandma's waiting on me, but oh well. Sorry, grandma, I already I called her and let her know. And yes, I may look stupid wearing this, but I don't want to get wind burnt. So. And those kitties like that mixture you give to them. Well, thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. You as well. These kitties, you guys hungry or what? Hi. Hi. Oh my God, Nubby. You guys are fine. See, this is how you get them to love me. While they're eating, you pet them. Oh, see, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. See, you're fine. Hi, Mama. It's that time of year, spring has sprung. We're getting the toolbar out. It's gonna be go time here soon. Almost go time, ladies and gentlemen. Got our toolbar out. Gonna start working on it here this afternoon. 
and the 8050's resurrected. Its engine issue got taken care of, had some exhaust manifold work that needed to be done. So now I'm gonna load up the uh, flatbed, or get the flatbed hooked on Nathan's truck. We're gonna take the uh, skid loader and head back up to Bellevue into, uh, and finish what we were doing last video. We're gonna finish uh, chopping trees down. We're gonna need to move up to another farm and chop those trees down as well. Hooked up, let's go ahead next door. Go load some stuff up. Alrighty, time to load stuff up. Skid loader's coming on first and the side by side. And Pat's washing the cement, so we're gonna start taking a look at the, the uh, two ball here soon. Loaded up and heading north. Nathan already took off. He's probably, he's probably 10 minutes ahead of me now. He took off with the side-by-side -side flatbed and skid loader. We have the saw and grapple still up north. So I'm gonna head up in this pickup and I'm gonna pick up my dad's uh, trailer, Cletus. We'll go from there, we'll see how far we get. Hopefully we can get up, get Bellevue wrapped up and then uh, get Andrew taken care of, we'll see. Time will tell. Dar Bean's got a sprayer out. Looks like he's about ready to roll. See if the guys are putting uh, or filling the hydrus up. Well, looks like they are. First time I've seen them with tanks there all year. That place is gonna be busier than the local bar here soon. Probably tomorrow, I would guess. That's when we'll see it starting. This field right here is actually right at water table level. It was not flooded two days ago when I came up here, but the river's getting flooded because we got a lot of rain and snow melt coming from up north. It's slowly rising the river up and that's uh, slowly flooding this field. So even though there's no spring or anything filling it, the ground's just getting so saturated enough that the water table rises. Kind of neat phenomenon. Paper working ground. Local small town dealer in my hometown. There are lots fuller than it's been in the last couple of years, but still pretty empty as far as large ag stuff goes. Couple tractors, one planter. That's about it. Already time to hook back up on the dump trailer that I broke in the last video. It's not very fun, but oh well. I can, nothing I can't fix. Hopefully, oh, kind of a pain in the neck to hook this thing up by yourself with no truck with a camera. Need to get over a little bit and come back. Oh, you guys gonna draw my pain? Good to go. Let's roll. There's our neighbor, Mr. Weber, heading to go chisel. There's the bud man and tater tot. Sweet, there's the side by side. Let's go ahead and hop in there and start rolling. So as I've mentioned before, what I am doing is I am taking this receiver up on top and this monitor. I thought for sure I would have had a convergence by now. So I'm taking these things and I'm basically going through and making sure that our uh, boundaries, which I'll show you one right now, our boundaries, our virtual fence lines, if you want, if you say, if you will, make sure those are all uh, all good. And there you can see. Uh, it's really hard for you guys to see because the Pro 700 is trash. But there's our map. Looks pretty good. Find a paint jug on your lane. I'm guessing they're painting trees. Oh, it'd be nice if we just burn that. So he's just clearing the fence line because it's just been overgrown over the last 10 years. And I think he's also gonna restring a couple lines and straighten this fence because it's starting to lean the cattle pressure over the last couple years. 
Isn't this fence line so much nicer with all this crappy trees cut out? Yeah, I'd agree. This is what that fence line used to look like. Wow. We really need to do this side, that's for sure. Next winter, it's gonna happen. Man, what idiot put that down there? Uh, that's why we can't have nice things. People rolling hay bales all the way down into the timber. Doing good, tater tot. So here we got the SV340, and Nathan's got the TV450B. We're actually gonna switch because he, that one is heavier. I'm gonna put this one on the lighter, the lighter uh, trailer because it's lighter, lighter duty. So that's all we're switching right now, and then Nathan's gonna head to the other farm. Now I got my lackey hooking up my hoses. What a nice guy. So I've been uh, cleaning this up for the last 20, 30 minutes or so, and this lock's much, much nicer. Man, this saw, uh, I don't know. I, I'm excited, guys. That zombie apocalypse tool is gonna be a great asset on our farm. We'll be able to trim through more trees in the winter in more comfort. Clean up our fence lines and our tree lines because we have a lot of them. That's awesome. And I'm driving with my elbow right now, holding the one stick because uh, I run H pattern most of the time. I'm just more comfortable with it. Which H pattern is basically both sticks go forward, means both go forward. Reward, reward. One right, twists it. So basically this stick controls these tires, this stick controls those. Where ISO, all your movement is right here. So forward, reverse, left, right. And this is your boom. Whereas H pattern, your bucket is on this side or your boom is on this side, bucket is on this side. Smoky. So apparently dad, uh, when he burnt this, he accidentally caught the ditch on fire and he had to spend an hour and all he had was a stick to get it out. Doesn't look as bad as he thought, but he said he had, he said he wished he had a rake or something to get, get it out. But yeah, so fire broke out on the farm. For the most part of this stuff burned all right. But now he wants me to grab it, grab, a mo grab as much of this as I can and hoof it back to the uh, first pile. So I'll maybe grab two strips or his car good. Now let's see if we can load this guy up. Finally got done two hours later. 45 minute job takes two hours. Not how it normally goes. Let's go ahead and pull this thing on the road so it's flat and level and load her up. Man, it's a beautiful day out. Yeah, that was fun. We'll see how this goes. Loading it by two with two people is hard. Loading it by yourself, woo. Yeah, we'll see. A little winch. Hold on. So I like loading this way much better. So I have more of the weight on the axles and a little less on the truck. So we'll see how this roads. I have to take my time though. This thing hauls much better with the uh, weight switched around as it is. Just pulling into the Andrew farm and there's our neighbor, Mr. Schwager, hauling manure with his new Holland TM165 and 195 manure spreader. Smells like money. Um, you're not supposed to be there, ma'am. So now I'll put the jack stands down, unfold the door and pull this thing out of here. So the side by side, I was remembering, I think, I just had the rest of the as an issue, but I, just where it's parked right now, I can already tell it doesn't, that yellow light blinking on the back of it means it doesn't have signal, so it's going to have to sit out in the open for probably 20 minutes anyway. So. Okay, I can jump in this and buzz around here and pick up where I yeah, can. Yeah, and then I'll switch out with you once. Yeah. Let's, you can keep coming. See what we got for daylight. Yep. yep. So here comes Nathan. We're gonna start clearing out this lane because we got a lot of trees here on our walkway to get in. So he'll cut and I'll uh, scoop. Had to get a picture of this guy. 40 foot long probably. Whew, 
big sucker. Only big loads at Heart Tongue Family Farms. Nice. This looks pretty sweet. All this was completely just covered in bush. So we just freed up. I mean, it was almost hard, hard to drive a combine or anything through here. So just thinned all this stuff back. That zombie apocalypse tool is pretty sweet. So that's a Bama Light DSA 530. This thing is sweet. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. So this is about a foot, uh, 14 inch diameter tree Nathan's going at. It's kind of hard because it's at an angle, but. Just like that, pretty dang slick. For being a brand new skid loader, track's definitely loose. We have to tighten that up. I think it's underneath here is where the tensioner's at. And I am gonna go over on the side-by-side -side and check our maps. So Nathan's gonna switch out with me. He's gonna go push in all those trees that he knocked down. We'll try to get a, try to get as, try to get this farm done before dark, or at least as much of it was that we can. Get a load of this guy in my way. Jeez! And I lost my satellites. Dang it! He's just going through and trying to ram bam these trees back in. Cut them down. A couple trees down on the neighbor's side that fell into ours, so I, they were out here and I just yanked them back as best I could. We're running out of time with the skid load. You can kind of see there's Nathan right there. It's actually almost done, so we might be able to get down below. That's our goal is to get down to the bottom. There's a little five acre patch that is just horrible with trees. Let's see if we can get that cleared out. Oh, there's someone running tillage or something over there. And here's another one. Just yank this one back. all of a sudden like very dark well, i've been just going hard for an hour trying to get this last field done and it is done so let's hit, take it back to the truck and get home late a lot later than i promised my wife sorry honey that time of year i suppose oh she's dark but i'm loaded up i will load up nathan right there and then we'll be done now we're gonna load up the new unit big unit tell you what though after running the track one for four hours a couple days ago and the wheeled one today all day i love the tracks like, other than riding on concrete, the tracks are absolutely amazing. Now I'll back him on. Keep coming, keep coming. A little more. Oh! And we'll call it good. There you go. We're all loaded up and heading out. Jeez, everybody and their brothers out today. Whole gravers are putting on gas with their two tractors. There's Josh Blake. Hi, Josh. Yep, Eberhardt's our uh, place where we get our anhydrous. This is first day I'm seeing them working late. They got a busy couple weeks. We're filling up the semi right now, too. Man, we're working late. The heck are we filling a semi right now? Big dogs coming out. Got the 400 going on the small chisel. Tomorrow is gonna be sweet. Toolbar was looked over. We think we're about ready to go with that. A lot going on, guys. A lot going on. Checking if any more weld cracks. Gotcha. Got the 400 hooked on the small chisel, and we'll get the new 340. Get its oil chains and get it ready to go. It's going to go on the disc because we're going to disc the uh, 
on the new hay ground, we're gonna disc it twice. We're gonna use the 340 to disc. Well guys, as you saw, we're getting things prepped. We're gonna be going hot and heavy tomorrow. For sure one chisel's gonna be going. If we get the cat back, we're gonna be getting two chisels going and the anhydrous toolbar. So it's gonna be a heck of a day. You're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and ta-ta for now.